Hey everyone, so now we're gonna go over next steps on your portrait drawing to actually get started on the drawing itself. And the best way to start um, a portrait is to start with the eyes and then work your way down and then go back to the hair and the ears, okay? So we're gonna start with the eyes. The eyes are usually about an eye width apart. So if I were to measure the length of this eye and the length between the eyes, it would be about equal length. And then the length between the side of the head and the eye is usually about an eye width as well. So first I'm gonna put the center line. Now some of you, if you're drawing a head at a slight angle, you're gonna to have to kind of reconfigure where you're gonna put some of these lines, like your center line that the eyes are centered off of if your eye is rotated a little, might be off to the side a bit. All right, so I'm gonna divide this into like five sections, just kind of guesstimating size. Oops, that's a little off. All right. Now, of course, as you're doing it, you can adjust accordingly. Okay, I'm gonna do that there. Again, this is my nose line and my mouth line. All right, now I'm looking carefully at the person I'm drawing's eye shape. So his eyes are not really angled out much. They're pretty much straight across, maybe with a slight angle from where the tear duct is to this spot right here. So I don't need those lines really after I start drawing the eye. And in fact, before I start putting details in the eye, I'm gonna kind of erase them to get them out of my way. So the tear duct. Oh, eye kind of angles upward here. And then up here. And then remember, the iris usually is blocked by the eyelid a little bit. Otherwise, you will have an eye that looks like it's sort of bugging out. Now, I think I actually can make this bigger. So again, I'm looking at the size and the space here. So the eyelid hits the top of his eye but then the bottom there's space. And this takes time, you're carefully observing. So if you're done with your eyes in two seconds because you're not really looking at the photo, it does take patience, it does take time. Artwork takes patience and time and to be successful at it takes patience and time. Rushing through something's not necessarily going to get you the best results. All right, so I have my first eye kind of happening. Now, before I do any shading or adding the eyelashes or anything like that, I'm going to do the other eye. Now, that's where sometimes uh, problems can arise. You know what, if you wanna make sure you're getting it around the same size, you can even put a line where the bottom of the eye is, line where the top of the eye is, line where the tear duct started, and I can already see that I need to go lower with that, okay. You could even do this and measure the exact size of the eye so they're symmetrical. I'm gonna erase. Again, before I start putting the details in, I'm gonna erase some of those lines. at the shape of his tear duct, looking at his iris, and 
And again, notice how I'm drawing sketchy and relatively light. Now he has, un he's known for having this unusual feature where his one iris, I mean not iris, pupil, is bigger than the other pupil, um, which is, I don't think it's the most common thing in the world, but he happens to have this. Okay, and now I'm gonna do the eyelid. And it helps to like stand up and back from your picture. So I'm gonna stand up looking at the picture. And when I start shading it, I might change the shape of things a little bit too as I go. So that's kind of the start. All right, now next I would start on the nose and that will be the next video I will show you.